are you guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're gonna be doing an oil change on the Scion FRS um, I'm not gonna lie I've been driving this car for the last couple of days and it's been acting a little funny I'm not gonna lie to you guys um, but also I have to admit it's been a cool little minute um, since I did the oil change so I'm hoping there's no major problems on like done with this car or anything like super wrong but it's just been shaking and just it don't usually shake so i'm kind of nervous but we're gonna go run go grab some oil and an oil filter and an air filter do the oil change and hopefully the car starts to drive better and act better and feel better um but anyways i'm gonna turn the camera back on when i get to the store oh i also have to go run to uh vons or family dollar or something to go get dog food as well so stay tuned the video was not over guys this is gonna be off my first time actually vlogging like out in the stores and shit like that because i don't usually vlog like that i'm not gonna lie to you guys i usually make car videos reaction foods and shit like that um but i started my channel doing vlogs so we're gonna go back to doing some little vlogs right now uh let me start the car up to show you guys because yesterday the engine light came on and i'm kind of nervous to see if it's still on hold on Alright guys, never mind. For some reason, I can't even um, drive it nowhere right now. It keeps on dying on me, cutting off. I don't know what the problem is, but it keeps cutting off. I don't know if it's the clutch or what the problem is, but it keeps cutting off. Let me show you guys real quick. Now watch this. For some reason, it keeps cutting off though. Every time I'm getting ready to drive. Let me show you guys real quick see, so you guys see what I'm talking about. But I started it up. It sounds good. There's no engine light or nothing like that. But every time I put it into first gear, there it goes. It cuts off. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Um, but damn. Damn, damn, damn. What do I do? Fuck. Maybe if I drive it, it might act better. I don't know. I'm going to start driving and see what happens. What, what do you guys think it is? I'm still going to go get the oil and the oil filter and everything like that. But I don't think it's the oil. I still need to do the oil change, but I don't think it's the oil. Let me know in the comments. So Let's see if it cuts off. See, it cut off again. So I don't know what the problem is, but it keeps cutting off pretty much every time I let go of the gas. All right, guys, we just got to the store right now. Let's go grab the dog food. And yes, the car made it to the store, which I'm kind of surprised. It died on me like five times, though, no lie. But um, it started up every time. <laughs> That's the good news. So let's go grab the dog food. I'm not going to lie, my dog's been out of food for like a day or two. But I've been busy. Been busy, I've been busy. So let's grab it real quick. Oh, excuse me. And no lie, guess how long this food lasts for them? Like, not even a week. Do they have a bigger, oh, they have bigger bags. All right, I'm not grabbing that. But this is the bag I should be grabbing though. 
but we already having car problems and I don't know how much this car is gonna cost to get fixed. So we grabbing the one for 18. Damn it, they had one for 13, but it's gone. Oh, it's this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think we might grab these, it's cheaper. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Anyways, let's go pay for everything and I'll turn the camera back on when I'm at uh, O'Reilly's, our AutoZone. All right, guys, we just got the AutoZone right now to go grab that air, the oil filter. But I'm also gonna ask the guy while I'm here to check the battery, because maybe it's the battery or the alternator that the problem might be. I don't know, but we're gonna check and ask to see. So uh, give me like five, 10 minutes. Hopefully though, hopefully it's just that, because if it's just that, then my little brother can go buy the battery that he bought like last time and then get it. Hey, you guys uh, check batteries or alternators here? Yeah, we do the system and checks. Then we can check mine real quick. Yeah. I don't know if, uh, if I need a new battery, alternator or something, but it just... Can you, uh, is, can the, is the car off? Yeah, it's off. Yeah, is it a hybrid? No. No? Okay. Hopefully, the, hopefully it's a battery, alternator, or something like that, and it's not like a big problem with the engine. I don't know. Thank you, man. Thank you. Pop the hood for you. Like, every time, like, I get to, like, a low speed, it would just cut off. I don't know if it's the battery, the alternator, like not keeping it charged or... Does the lights flicker or anything like that when you're just in the car? Yeah, like it'll yeah. flicker a little bit. Battery does look a little crusty. Yeah. Let me get a snub to clean that off. Okay? okay, okay. Yeah, hopefully it might be the battery or the alternator. Look at the battery though. The battery is pretty. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. Look at all this corrosion. So hopefully it's just the battery, guys, or hopefully the alternator, something I can change real quick. I'm hoping it's nothing to do with the engine. Um, like I said, the oil was pretty low. Let me show you guys real quick. It wasn't that low, though. So that's why I don't think it's the oil, because look at that. Yeah, it's kind of old and dirty, but it's not low, if that makes any sense. You guys didn't close early today for uh, President's Day? Oh, nah? Nah, dude, we're still open for 4th of July. Ah, oh, damn, they were like, fuck the holidays. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're still open. Damn. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you're still making money, you know? Yeah. It's a slow day, I guess, Slow day, yeah, everybody off work and shit. Battery, man. Oh, it's the battery. Yeah, so it gives you state of charge. The cranking health is what failed, and oh. it doesn't even give me the the percentage on the capacity of like the battery percentage, like what it's actually holding. Oh wow! So it needs a new battery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in this case, it's bad. Uh, I mean, it is from. That's one of ours. Yeah, I think it is from. I think we. I did get the battery from you guys. Out uh, maybe a year or two. Yeah, it's uh, 2022. That's it from 22. Oh, so yeah, not even yet. I mean, that's a three-year warranty battery. Um, the only thing is that they would just want to like look, not look into, but they would put, like ask you if it's maybe the alternator that's giving you that issue. Um, but obviously it's bad, so yeah, we can go ahead and swap that out for you. We'll just go into the warranty, make sure we have one in stock, you know. 
Okay, okay. Going, uh, and then the near future after, we could probably test the, the car again and see if it's the alternator. So after like you that, put the new one in yeah, and it's so like that, it's not, hopefully it's not the alternator that's draining your battery, you know, and it keeps on happy. Oh, it keeps on happy, yeah. yeah. So that you would at least know that it's that. So you can just change the alternator yeah, instead of keep... that out or, you know. Okay, okay. Work on that one. But, uh, yeah, let's let's go on inside and then see about the quarantine and then see if I got one in stock. All right, sounds good. All right, you guys, so it looks like it might be just the battery, which I'm hoping it's just the battery. <laughs> Um, but I still do have to do the oil change. That's why I came here though for the oil filter to be honest, but <laughs> That shit start tripping though Let me call my little brother real quick I believe he's the one that bought the battery last time So I don't know if it's under his shit or not, but hold on And then what was the the year on? All right, you guys, I got the car all jacked up and everything like that. Let me show you guys where you're going to be changing everything at. So this is the oil filter cap right here. You know what I mean? Here's the oil filter right in front of you. I love how the oil filter on the FRS is right here in front of you. So it's easy to take off. And then let me show you guys the drain plug for the FRS, Scion, BRZ, 86, all of them the same. Let me show you guys the drain plug real quick. And then this is the oil you're gonna need right here as well. Make sure you get the oil, oil filter, and make sure you get your funnel. I already have a air filter that's a k and I just have to take it off and wash it. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty simple job, guys. Make sure you're doing your oil change on your vehicle. Let me show you guys the drain plug real quick so you guys can know where it's at if you guys need to look for it on your vehicle. It's right here. Um, and it is a 14 millimeter socket. So if you guys are wondering, this is a 14 millimeter. So you just pull, drain it, put the drain plug, your uh, drain catch bucket right here, let it drain. Uh, when it's done draining, put the, put it back on, tighten it all up, and then put your new oil in. It's pretty simple, guys. So after I'm done doing all of that, I'm gonna turn the camera back on um, I don't have nobody here to hold the camera for me, so I can't do this at the same time as I'm doing this. So I'm going to have to turn the camera off. Stay tuned. <laughs> I look kind of weird because I'm laying on the floor right now, but um, I'm about to drain it out. Get my catch, the oil catch bucket. And then, yeah, let's get started, guys. Hope you guys are having a blessed day as well. Oh, man. Car life, car life. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have it draining right now. I don't know if you guys can see it dripping, but it's draining right there. So we're gonna give it a couple of minutes, let it all drain. And then we're gonna go to the top of the car up here. Open up the cap a bit, so you can make sure all the oil, all the old oil gets out. And then we're gonna take the old, air, old oil filter off right here. Let's go grab what we need to grab real quick. These are great depending on the size of your oil filter or me personally, I love to use these right here. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. I love to use this. This is perfect for me personally. You just grab it like that and then pretty much you just loosen it. Let me show you guys real quick. Damn, it's kind of tight. Damn, all right, I'm gonna have to use two hands real quick, but pretty much you just use this and you loosen it up. Um, but yeah, give me like five, 10 minutes to get all this situated. All right, you guys, that's the old oil, old oil filter. Here's the new oil filter right here. I washed the can in, air filter, and put that back in. The new oil is back in. Um, the drain plug underneath is all tightened and everything like that. So now pretty much all I have to do is get rid of the old oil, the old air filter, and then pretty much that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This video was kind of all over the place. I'm not going to lie, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm glad that it was nothing really wrong with the FRS besides it needed a new battery. Um... I might end up changing the alternator as well just because I did get that battery in 2022 and it's already having problems so I don't 
fully believe it's the battery. I also believe it's the alternator as well. Uh, but I got a new battery. Now I'm gonna get a new alternator. And other than that, the car should be running back great. Did the oil change, did the air filter change, oil filter change. Other than that, the car should be running right. Make sure you guys are doing your maintenance on your car, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Let's get it.